What's up, traders? Welcome to the midday recap. Uh, Dawn pretty much kind of just fading a bit. We had a nice push towards the 15-ish mark. Totally, totally rejected. Uh, today has been, uh, you know, pretty good short to short this. Uh, and uh, you can see here a crazy, uh, crazy push there. Then we had a couple of other ones uh, that move ARC. ARC. Let me see if I can uh, put a notepad here. Notepad. Uh, Dawn, Dawn, uh, possible all day short. Uh, that's that's probably I might I might I might get in some of that ARC. I saw this in the chat room. Pretty much, pretty pretty ridiculously, uh, pretty pretty ridiculously moved today. Uh, we kind of just broke over a 52 week high, and uh, that is just uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, you can see here. We broke towards the 52 week high of 14.2 over here, and that is just uh, pretty ridiculous. 14.2, and we squeezed all the way to 16.97. Uh, that is ridiculous. The ARC broke yesterday high, third day's high, 52 week high of 14.2, hits 17. Wow, that is impressive. I just saw that one. RDVX is kind of kind of topping out here in the 18-ish range. It tried multiple times to break 18. I think it's possible at the end. Uh, RDVX, RDVX possible at the end, topping out at 18. I mean, this stock has been going from 10 to 18, so that's a you know 80% move. That's 80% move. That's huge. Uh, some other stocks that I did see were, uh, this morning I looked at blue and I saw it had a really huge flow. You can see here 68 million and, um, you know, this stock, I thought about doing an all day fade on it and the shorting actually, it, it, it was a pretty much easier trade to short at the market open around six to, to base it off the 625. The float on it was 69 million, so the float was much higher. So this is kind of like what I was expecting uh, to to for Dawn to do, but Blue did it much better. Uh, Dawn was a little bit more choppy than I thought. Um, I should have definitely get in, got into Blue. Blue uh, was definitely a much better short opportunity from six down to 470. I could have made there, you know, um, I don't know about. Um, based on a thousand shares, I could have made uh, easily a huge uh, 1500 or something, based on just holding this one most of the day. And uh, Dawn, I had I had to risk you know a thousand shares on this one, which was uh, much uh, you know that's I was putting too much too much capital at risk here. So blue would have been a better off. Blue, blue that would have been a better off all day short that's about it i haven't seen anything uh exciting i, I saw some hills uh i saw gmbd uh no, nothing uh nothing i i, I want to trade i saw uh this is uh c so i don't know what this is this is not a good chart hills uh, not really anything spectacular for me to get in I am a very, you know, I, I watch what everybody watches and I try not to do. Anyway, the SPY is down uh, 800 some points and I'm still green on the day. I don't know. We're kind of just uh, free falling a bit here. But, uh, you know, but the small cap market uh, has been uh, has been on fire. These things uh, are pretty, pretty crazy to be moving. So such a huge volatility in this market. You know, the small caps are on fire, despite the spies down uh, 800 points. Pretty uh, pretty crazy, uh, and uh, I'm very happy to be green on the day, and, uh, you know, start again tomorrow. So this is the midday market recap. Have a good one. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. It's uh, 7 a.m. in the morning, and, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow, 7 a.m. Uh, for tomorrow's live stream. Peace out.